Hello and welcome to the Team Liquid Strategy Guide series for Aberus the Shadowed Crucible, Dragonflight's new raid opening May 9th. I am Telegon, and today I'm going to break down the mechanics and strategy for normal and heroic Kazara the Hellforged, the first boss in the instance. To begin, let's talk about the flow defining mechanics. Periodically, the boss will cast both Dread Rifts and Rays of Anguish. Dread Rifts apply a debuff to players that upon expiration causes them to place a puddle. Rays of Anguish spawn under players and begin to follow their character. On normal difficulty, Rays and Dread Rifts have no interaction, and the Rays simply time out after duration. On Heroic, however, Rays have no duration, and each player must pilot their Ray to a Dread Rift, where upon collision the Ray will terminate. Each Ray must be resolved before new Rays are cast, otherwise the beam will gain increased speed and begin pulsing ramping Ray damage. So in terms of flow, the boss will cast a set of Dread Rifts, then a set of rays in a cycle. Our strategy for this mechanic is to have every dread rift placed near a wall, so that the solution for each set of rifts and rays is as easy as possible, and the puddles that remain are relatively unimpactful to the play space. To enable this strategy, we'll want to have players maintain a spread around the boss. Hellsteel Carnage causes the raid to take increasing rot damage, as well as incrementing the number of dread rifts applied by one at each stage. This occurs at 80%, 60%, and 40% and also has a direct damage and ground effect component that increase in both volume and frequency as the fight stages progress. Wings of Extinction is a relatively weak knockback, especially when compared to something like the rest of Geth Winds. The only thing to note here is to be careful not to get knocked back into another mechanic such as Ray of Anguish, Molten Scar, Dread Rift, or a random swirly. Hellbeam is a simple frontal, periodically targeting a random player for each cast. I suggest emphasizing and attaching a sound to this mechanic using weak auras or your boss mod of choice. Finally, Terror Claws is a generic tank swap mechanic. Simply swap at one stack. To summarize, if you get a Dread Rift, take it to a wall. If you get a Beam, take it to a Dread Rift. If you can handle these two mechanics together, you'll be able to defeat the boss on Heroic, as the rest of the mechanics are simply dodging things like frontals or swirlies on the ground, or having a reasonable amount of maintenance healing. With that, we very much hope you found this guide useful, Please feel free to leave feedback or commentary below this video, and make sure to keep your eye on this channel as more guides will be coming out soon. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we will catch you in the next one.